So adverse childhood events, what are they? They are events which are significant in our childhood. For example, did your parents divorce? Did you witness um, repeated domestic uh, emotional or physical violence? Uh, did, did anybody in your family, immediate family, were they uh, abusing drugs or alcohol? Um, did you witness knife crime? Was anybody in your family incarcerated in prison? Um, did you ever feel like you wondered whether you were safe in the home? Did you wonder if you were going to be fed or clothed? And so it goes on. What they found is that when they've evaluated common uh, illnesses in later life, there is a statistically, highly statistically significant correlation to these events in childhood. So for example, if you have an ACE score of three, so let's say uh, you witness a lot of domestic abuse, your parents uh, end up divorced and one of them has uh, got some mental health problems. And that's an ACE score of three. Now, if you have an ACE score of three, I think the figure is somewhere in the order of 380% increased risk of having a stroke or a heart attack in later life. So you're nearly four times more likely as a result of those three events in your childhood to have later biological disease. Now, how does that happen? Well, because of this autonomic nervous system in part, because it then changes the body's internal world through how the nervous system regulates and controls all the organs. There's also something around the field of epigenetics uh, in that, that the genetic predisposition, which we may or may not have, um, can be activated by those kind of events because that changes our internal world safety. So there's something around um, those events in our early years which allows the chromosomes on the DNA helix to, helix to become activated and so manifest into disease in later life.